My name is David Gruel, and I'm the Assembly Test and Launch Operation Manager for the Mars Science Laboratory Project. I'm coming to you from a clean room at the Kennedy Space Center, where my team is currently conducting the final functional test of the MSL flight hardware destined for Mars. Over here, we have our crew stage. The crew stage is comprised of a solar array, several guidance sensors, and a propellant system that basically gets the MSL spacecraft from Earth to Mars. Once we get to Mars, the vehicle will have served its purpose and we jettison it and it burns up in the atmosphere before we actually make first contact with the atmosphere itself. The back shell is the vehicle over here in white, which provides an interface to a large deceleration parachute. And over here is the heat shield, and the heat shield has the protective insulative tiles that keep Curiosity safe as all the heat is generated as we actually wake our way through the Martian atmosphere. Behind me is the descent stage. The descent stage is the jetpack that safely gets Curiosity down to the surface of Mars. Unlike Pathfinder and the twin rover Spirit and Opportunity, which utilized airbags to make it down to the surface, Curiosity relies on the descent stage and its jetpack to actually make it down to the surface. Using retro rockets and a terminal descent radar system, this is what actually carries Curiosity safely down to the surface so that it can actually get its wheels onto the ground and perform its science. So here's the star of the show, the Curiosity rover. Here, Curiosity looks the same way that she'll look when she makes it to the surface of Mars and deploys all of her mechanisms. Sticking up off the top deck of the rover is a remote science mast, which contains all of our stereo imagery. You can also see the six wheels, which will actually propel Curiosity around the surface of Mars, as well as the robotic arm, which is sticking off the front of the vehicle, with the turret, which allows us to do science on rocks that are in the vicinity of the rover and return samples to science instruments that are contained on the body of the rover itself. All total, there's nine science instruments which will return all sorts of exciting science from the surface of Mars. Up next for us, we're ready to start stacking the vehicle, and from there we're looking forward to a great mission as Curiosity launches and lands on the surface of Mars next year.